Hey guys, Jarek here. Welcome to my gun guide for the Spaz-12. The Spaz-12 is a semi-automatic shotgun specific to the criminal side. You can purchase it as soon as you jump into the game for $7,800. This is actually very cheap for weapons and you should get it very quickly. I highly recommend buying it. In my opinion, this is one of the most underrated guns in the game. I actually find it very interesting. I play a lot of CQB-centric game modes like Team Deathmatch and Conquest Small, yet I rarely see people running with the Spaz-12. I occasionally see someone running with the 870, but I never see the Spaz-12. And if I do, the person using it is doing pretty well. So it leaves me wondering why aren't people using it. Perhaps people are leaning towards the K-10. I'm not sure. But even if somebody is using the K-10, the Spaz-12 at certain ranges wins out. This gun is very underrated. Now Synthic doesn't have any stats up for shotguns yet. If they ever plan on putting stats up for shotguns, I'm not entirely sure. But I can tell you some stats I found out on my own. The rate of fire seems to be a little bit faster than that of the Desert Eagle. The Desert Eagle fires at 220 rounds per minute. I would guess the Spaz-12 is around 250 to 300 rounds per minute. Do keep in mind, if you spam this as fast as you can, the shots become wildly inaccurate, so I do not recommend doing so. Wait for the gun to completely settle before shooting again, and the gun will be very accurate and still shoot very quick. You don't have to wait that long. This gun is the only semi-automatic shotgun in the game, and it's very strange that they didn't decide to add in another semi-automatic shotgun, like say the M1014, for the cop side, or maybe even a Benelli M4. I'm not entirely sure why they didn't do this, it would make a lot more sense from a balance perspective, because now the criminals have a shotgun that is blatantly better than every other shotgun in the game, and the cops have no match for it, so the criminals enforcer side is better than the cops enforcer side. The Spaz-12 holds 9 shotgun shells two more than the 870, and three more than the 37 stakeout. I'm not including the double barreled shotgun in any comparison because it doesn't really make any sense to compare the two. The Spaz-12 seems to reload at the same speed as the 870, but hold two more shells. This is great because when firing in semi-automatic, you're going to be doing a lot of reloading. Luckily, you can just top off and cancel the reloading animation by firing from the hip, so it's not a big deal. The range seems to be about the same as the 870, and now you're starting to understand why I say this gun is underrated. It fires faster, and has just as much range, so why would I use any of the other shotguns? The main weird thing about this gun, and I noticed this when I started testing, I wasn't sure if it was correct, so I did more testing and found this to be true with any barrel attachment I was using, the hipfire doesn't seem to be affected by the chokes like it's supposed to be. Now, it still has the usual thing where if you fire from the hip, the spread is completely random within your reticle, so it's better to aim down sight so you make the spread a little bit less random, more specific. It didn't seem to be that much tighter when ADSing, but it was less random. So I do recommend aiming down the sights when possible. But when adding on a choke to the shotgun, it's supposed to make the gun less accurate from the hip. But in my experience, all it really did is just tighten the spread both from the hip and ADSing. Even while moving, this didn't seem to change all that much. So you really don't have much reason to run with anything other than the laser and a full choke. I'm not sure if this is a bug, or just how it's supposed to work, but it seems to have much more different effects on say the 870 or the 37 stakeout where it actually does harm your hit fire accuracy, but not on a semi-automatic shotgun, because that makes sense. I'm willing to bet this is a bug, I'm not entirely sure. There's other oddities to this shotgun that don't really affect the gameplay. I noticed when you're aiming down the sights, you still pump the shotgun, even though the shotgun is very clearly semi-automatic, and I noticed when you do a completely empty reload, you're supposed to put a shotgun shell into the chamber, but the chamber is completely black and closed, even though the pump is pulled back. I mean, it doesn't really affect the gameplay in any way whatsoever, but it's definitely a bit strange. The Spaz-12 has quite a few different good attachments you can put on this gun. Like most other shotguns in the game, you can put up to a 4 times scope on this gun. Typically, I wouldn't recommend putting an ACOG or something of the sort on your shotgun, and I still kind of don't. I would recommend either sticking with the iron sights or putting a red dot on it. You can get away with an ACOG, thanks to two different attachments in the accessory slot. The first one is canted iron sights, which explains itself, just swap those if they get up close. And the second one is the shotgun slug. Typically, I would not recommend the slugs for shotguns in this game, because with the pump action, it normally takes two different shots to kill with the slug, and still takes two shots to kill with the Spaz-12 but you have a faster time to kill thanks to a faster fire rate, and you can compete with assault rifles at medium to close to long distance. This is actually great, and it still works up close. So if you are accurate and you want to use slugs, definitely go ahead and try it out. You can even put an ACOG on your gun and get away with it. Though typically I would recommend putting the laser on your shotgun and just tightening your hip fire spread and staying with buckshot. 
As for the muzzle, you have the choice between nothing, a modified choke, and a full choke. As I said before, I don't really see any difference in the hipfire penalty between the different muzzle chokes, so I would recommend just sticking with the full choke, and that seems to work the best, tighten your spread the most, and you'll get a ton of kills with this setup, it's an incredibly effective shotgun. Something to keep in mind is that this is a shotgun, and it does still suffer from the hit detection lag syndrome that all the shotguns in this game experience, meaning you can shoot someone and then they'll die a second or two later. This is more than enough time for them to get a trade kill on you, and you will probably get some trade kills. So shoot until you are absolutely positive they are dead. Do not assume that you hit them, because they might die a second later and that second shot could have saved your life. The way I would recommend playing with this shotgun is to be hyper aggressive. You don't need to be as accurate as the pump actions, though I would recommend being as accurate as possible in case you run up close to someone using a K-10, which if you don't miss, you will win in that situation up close. Now if you really want to go for that playstyle that's a little more defensive using shotgun slugs, go ahead, by all means, go ahead and try that out. But what I found to be the most effective is to put a red dot, a laser, and a full choke on your gun, and run around the map being very aggressive as I have said before. Hip firing is effective, although if you do have time, aim down the sights, but if you miss that hip fire shot or you get one of the random spreads where half of your pellets miss the person, just shoot again right after. This is actually incredibly effective and you will see in this video me getting quite a few different hip fire shots from a decent range. If I had to say the max one shot range of this gun, it would probably be pushing about 50 feet. It's very effective at a distance compared to what you would expect a shotgun to be. So hey, that basically sums up the Spaz 12. It is the best shotgun in the game, the only semi-automatic shotgun in the game if you're not talking about the double barrel, but again, that doesn't really count. And I still really want to know why the cops don't have something like the Benelli M4 instead of the 37 stakeout. Maybe they thought the Ithaca was too iconic to not use, or maybe Visceral just doesn't give a shit about weapon balance. I'm pretty sure we can come to that conclusion since it's obvious they have no idea what they're doing with weapon balance, or maybe they're not incompetent and they just don't care. Anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed the Shotgun Spaz 12 gun guide. I have the rest of this game you guys can watch with live commentary, and I'll see you guys next time. <laughs> Alright! Someone had some shotgun tips. I got this job! Oh, behind my... Oh, fuck. Oh, <laughs> Your body flew so far, Drake. This is going to be a very painful grind fest. What are you trying to unlock? I'm just trying to unlock attachments for the uh, stakeout. This is only so much you can really do. The attachments don't make it that much better, to be honest. I want to get so the chokes for it. That's all, because I don't have any. I don't have anything for it. Even the chokes aren't very good. You'd think because it has a grip on it, which is the only shotgun which has a grip on it, it actually would be better at hip fire, but it's not. I hate the random spread bullshit thing they did. Oh my god, I was so hurt. I'm so glad he didn't shoot at me. I couldn't. My gun was doing that weird glitch where it was not firing. I was mashing the button and it was not firing at all. Ow. Oh my god, I have 10 health. Still alive. Kill me. Someone kill him. <gasps> oh god, I hope that doesn't kill me. Okay, good. I'm alive still. <laughs> oh my god, there's so many. Wow. All the way over here. <laughs> oh, somebody's still back there. I had to reload, damn it. <laughs> what is going on here? Holy crap. This is just silly. Stop that, sorry. <laughs> what? Who is the person flailing around in the back? <laughs> With a baton? Yes. Me. <laughs> I watched that. I tried to tase him and then this. This guy's dead. Start shooting. 
Oh, no quick scoping for you, you bitch. Oh, hey, a ga gas kill. Sure. No, you don't. Oh, more gas hit markers. Swastolv is easily the best shotgun in the game. I'm using the A70 and I'm happy. Yeah, but the Swastolv is way better. Meh. God damn it, people, stop walking into my gas. Oof, I got sniped. Maybe you should stop farting. <laughs> God damn it, Tig, stop farting. You've had one way too many burritos. <laughs> or dicks. How are you? Oh, okay. Lag. After this, I'm going to take a small break. Um, I'll come back afterwards. Okay. One of our guys. No sniping for you. No I'm only tasing right now. Still. <laughs> so pro. <laughs> Bitch, no sniper. Sniper, no sniping. Nope. Nope. Oh, Damn it, that was all tap. Sorry. Ow. Apparently I'm pissing off that Shadow King guy. He deliberately just ran at me with a knife. Even though I'm not actually killing him that much, I'm just running around with a stake out. Hey, I killed John Wick. <laughs> oh, whoever just... Oh, I'm ran. No, no. Oh my god! Ugh. There's so many how everything did everywhere. That not get you? I don't know how the fuck I'm alive. How did that miss you? Oh, I finally died. Oh, fuck, why'd you just spark like it oh, Why? Why? Why did the grenade go there? Come on. Someone went to throw a grenade inside of the building I was in as I was vaulting out of it, but he made a terrible throw and it bounced where I landed. God, sometimes it's better to be lucky than to have skill. Maybe it was all planned. Oof. Watch that happen. Point blank with the tasers. Oh, boom. I think I got you right in the eyes too. Oh, ow! I, I don't drink. know how I killed you from there. If you're aiming on the sights and not moving, not moving is really important with that gun or any of the pump actions. I'm like moving around a lot, and I'm still. Well, yours is the 870 though, not the 37. True. <laughs> like I'm moving around a lot too, but uh, small small. So a shotgun uh, supposedly should have one of a better movement. How did I miss all three of you? Oh, great. Oh, oh I got one of them, actually. Ooh. Have a good night, punk ass bitch! Our guy got fucking smoked! Ow. What? Hi. Okay. <laughs> I don't know how that happened, because I was inside the wall. Oh, I, I hit you oh, once God. in the back, but for some reason it didn't like go into the interrogation thing. <laughs> okay. I'm not sure why that happened. <laughs> Me neither. Oh, who's sniping? Really? My god, this spaz has a lot of range. Like, way more than the 37 stakeout. That's right! Okay, I totally did not see that guy. 
if I was just thrown in a garbage can. Oh! I didn't see that guy. That guy spooked me. I just I didn't know he went up there. I did see him. I knew he was <laughs> there. Incendiary. <laughs> Ow! Oh, I got tased. Where's the Where's the suppressed guy? Someone else is shooting at me, and I'm like, where is he? Ow! I just got an achievement using the taser. So I finally managed to kill that guy with a 1911. I really need a choke on this. A choke or laser sight? No. Laser oh, double kill. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, that's why you fucking killed me. I was in fucking gas. Oh, wow. 4614. 1822. <laughs> Nine. I got 13 kills with the taser. And a couple, well, a couple melee. Also, I love how much my game isn't crashing anymore. There are no unlocks for the taser. <laughs> okay. That no one on the other team went positive. That is bad. Ugh, dust bowl. Ew. Oh wow, look at me leaving. <laughs> taser only dust bowl. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be a restaurant fight. <laughs>